Hello, we're Nerdpool. This is the Monday vlog where you get to learn what happened, mattered, and occurred to us over the last week. Jumping right in. Rory, what happened to you this week? Uh-huh. Tommy? Hello! Hello, we're Nerdpool. This is the Monday vlog where you get to learn what happened, mattered, and occurred to us over the last week. Jumping right in. Cromack, what happened to you this week? Well, what happened to me this week is, firstly, I bought this new shirt, and I don't know if you can see, but it's Iron Man's face, and when I put it down... got face detected on Iron Man there. Just... <laughs> and when I run it down, I get confused and think it's the shell logo. <laughs> <laughs> I see that now. Okay, yeah. no, not going to unsee that, that's really irritating. Okay. And I've uh, <laughs> also been at all costs avoiding the immense heat that we've had in Norwich. And have been completing Mass Effect 2, which was fantastic good time. Great. Very complete. So, Eric, what happened to you this week? I also got a t-shirt, but that was last week, but it's worth mentioning. Because <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but if you are able to see that, you're probably splitting your sides right by now. This here, right here, it's a chick. Yep. This is a magnet. Yep. Now the chick is no, being No, 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 no. <laughs> don't spell it out for them. Like, what else did I do this week? What did I do? Who am I? Who are you? Uh, well, you got a really cool picture of yourself with our amazing headmaster. That is true. You're not seeing it now, because I can't be asked. But, our headmaster, Mr Nixon, is um, lovely. We we finished year 11, so it's the end of mandatory Yay! school. But I won't be done with school for a long time, so... Yay! Yeah. Um, what else did I do? Okay, I went more yours. And oh, I nice. played some Half Life, which was, <laughs> and that was really fun. Um, and then I did something which will occur to me later. <laughs> Foreshadowing, not pointing at the camera. Learned, learned from that mistake a long time ago. <laughs> and what happened to you this week? This week, I also finished school. Yay! <laughs> I've been we weeding. Weeding? <laughs> okay. What have you been weeding? Sorry? What? I'm, I'm becoming more and more resentful of Tommy being here. So yeah, I'm just going to take his face off. <laughs> yeah. That could be foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably foreshadowing. Uh, this week I have been reading some BPRD. Yes, you have. I have. And you're not, you, are you relying on me to tell them which ones they are? Because you've forgotten already. I've read The Warning, The Black Goddess. These aren't in order. Some other ones. <laughs> but they were all absolutely amazing and included big fire breathing dragons against frog monsters in the have, armies. Have you read Killing Ground? Because Killing Ground has got Johan's orgy, which is different. Not yet. <laughs> You'd know if you've read it. Okay. <laughs> Anything will, else happened to you? I will read that later. Yeah. Um, when the video ends, you just <laughs> end from success. <laughs> I must read this! <laughs> yes? And I've also been carrying on with some smithing and I've made something special for your birthday. It's a ring. She won't give it to me. I know it's done, but she won't give it to me. I'm dying inside. <laughs> Tickle my chin again. I dare you. I dare you. Are you fucker? <laughs> Pretty though. Anything else happened to you? Not at all, no. That's funny, so I'm carrying less and less. <laughs> Chromat, what mattered to you this week? Well, what mattered to me this week is that uh, firstly, uh, Facebook have released a copy application of Instagram, and which is especially odd considering that while Instagram was a big, I guess sort of competitor, yeah, they bought them for one billion dollars, and obviously that means they have to make their own one. Clearly. No, I'm just going to run through this again. Instagram are, are competing with them. 
more or less. So, so Facebook buy them out. Yeah. That's a, that's, an, that's, a, that's a sound business move. Lots of people do that. Yeah, Google. Yeah. <laughs> it's the next step that puzzles me. <laughs> then they make an app which is a basically the same thing yes. when they could just make Instagram even better into an app for them. They could yeah, just they absorb could just, it and in implement it into Facebook in some way. But instead they captured it, took it apart and built a new one. Yes. No? Nobody else? Okay, fine. Okay. Fine. Okay, fine. And in <sighs> other news... Fuck a bird. <laughs> in other news, uh, Diablo 3 broke the record for PC game sales, selling 3.5 million copies in 24 hours, uh, which was very impressive. And in other game sales news, analysts predict that GTA 5, when that is released either at the end of this year or the start of next year, it will sell 14 million copies at launch. They didn't give a time reference for that, but uh, GTA 4 sold 14 million in a whole year, so... Nice. If you're, not fam if you're not familiar with the game's Grand Theft Auto, why? <laughs> Go play them. They're amazing. Um, returning to Facebook, <laughs> just what? <laughs> no, uh, uh, what? Okay, just whatever. Use, just Keep... use Twitter instead. It's yeah. much better. Yeah, yeah. Less naked pictures on Twitter, though. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Fair point. Some of some of these angles that people short the table. What? What are you talking about? Have Actually. you seen some people's profile pictures taken what? at this, this angle? Hi. Yeah, that one. Hi. <laughs> this time I tried to do that, but from the wrong angle. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> she looks. She looks at you as if you were in a hole, and you just you just freed yourself from some prison, and you're looking at you're looking at the world for the first time as a free man. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that would be upsetting. Um, um, what were we talking about? Facebook. Yeah. Mark Zuckerberg. That's what we call him in the house. <laughs> we saw the social network and then uh, read a bunch of facts about him and just put him on our bad list. <laughs> we don't actually have a bad list. We have a kill list. <laughs> so, Eric, what mattered to you this week? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Space mattered to me this week. Space. Narrow it down. No, narrow it down. Okay. Um, the Earth. Around the Earth. Okay. Space near the Earth. Between the Moon and the Earth. Mm. My God. Not as far as the Sun. Mm. That's better. Space. Mm. That's space. Is that narrow enough? That'll do. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fine. I'll do. It. I'll do. It. I'll do the story. <laughs> stop, stop being me. God, if you want to. <laughs> okay, um... James Doohan, uh, star of Star Trek, famous for the character Scotty, now portrayed by Simon Pegg. We love you. Um, <laughs> has made his third trip into space. Now, you're thinking to yourself, wait, James Doohan is dead. Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Sometimes I'm too funny. <laughs> okay. Um, James Doohan's ashes, or rather the, the third portion of him, um, he's a big guy. Was a big guy. Um, the third portion of him had now been taken up to space to be scattered, as is uh, the request in his will, and a fourth part of him is at rest in uh, Washington, where he chose to be permanently staying there. As opposed to floating in an endless void. Hmm, nice thought. Okay. Um, space item number two. SpaceX tourism. I'm going to go with tourism. Uh, because Rory didn't brief me very well on this story either. Okay. SpaceX is a program which should not be confused with SpaceX. Which is very different. Um, That's a very different program. <laughs> 
Pre SpaceX is, uh, I believe, some sort of space tourism, um, and it was launched this week. And if it's not tourism, I'm looking like a bright arse right now. But if it is, well done me. <laughs> not well done, Rory. If you're here, it's your story. If not, fuck you. <laughs> space item number three. I don't have a space item. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't. Because <laughs> this one was Rory's item as well. And, I, and then I was trying to help you by giving you an item. But I've got two stories. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Okay. Um, oh, Facebook. We'll get back to that. Um, space item number three. Scientists last month released... released a, I'm gonna go again? I'm gonna go again. Scientists last month released a paper showing evidence that may imply the existence of another planet in our solar system. We don't know what university this was at, or when exactly it was released, only that Rory told us about it. If this story is completely wrong, don't, don't email nerdpoolproductions at gmail.com. Email rja at live.com with death threats and hatred. Do it anyway, please. Um, I've heard you also like pictures of people's penises. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that somewhere. That's familiar. Yeah, just ring a bell. <laughs> so if you like me a favour, please. I'm doing the story. Okay. Scientists released a paper. Scientists released a paper last month. Scientists released a paper last month implying... Showing evidence that may imply the existence of a further planet in our solar system. The evidence published in the paper is that the orbits of uh, small items near the space where we believe this planet is have been disrupted, presumably by the gravitational pull of the planet. Um, yeah? So that could be cool. We could actually have nine after all. So, suck on that, primary teachers. Yeah, no. I was taught there were nine. He was taught there were nine. She was taught there were nine. And then we all thought they were right, and I wanted to cry. That's very so, Pluto, we still love you. Please let there be nine, because it's just confusing. <laughs> and if there are nine, I need, I need it to start with a P again, because then the mnemonic works. My very easy method speeds up naming planets. Mm -hmm. That was my method. Ah. It just speeded up naming planets. Okay. <laughs> So much of this is being cut out, fuck's sake. Sorry. My Facebook story. Facebook this week was... Facebook this week reached the value of $100 billion. Then Rory told us that their shares were dropping in value, and along with them buying Instagram and being worth $100 billion, I found that kind of hard to believe. Mm. So... Though so when you see that they're releasing their own rival app, it begins to make a bit more sense. Yeah, yeah. It, it does some kind of feel like they are shooting in the dark. Yeah. When they were blind to begin with, <laughs> but then they chose to switch off the lights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're holding the gun the wrong way around. <laughs> anyway, um, Hannah, what matters to you in the news this week? Well, in Peru, in. <laughs> How is it? Pakakamak. Is that right? Yay! In Peru, in Pakakamak, archaeologists have discovered a thousand year old tomb containing over 80 mummies. Cool, I like mummies. Yeah. A lot of them were infants, though, and oh. a lot of the bodies had disfigurations and things wrong with them. So they are at the moment questioning whether it was a place they just for people with shit wrong with them. Okay. Yeah. My second news item is that Microsoft is releasing an 80 inch touch screen PC screen. That can only go well. I know. Could you think of any way you'd need that? I just know that I have these 80 inch walls in my room. They're just you need something. Haven't put any furniture there, <laughs> haven't put any anything on the wall, you know, it's just huge spaces that could easily yeah, be used. Just 
you know. There's, there's nothing there. I need yeah. something. Everyone's got that much space in their home. And if they haven't, what's wrong with them? And in this economy, who couldn't afford it? <laughs> so, yeah, from the from the field of bound to go well, too big to fail business, mm. Microsoft. And then there's also the uh, rumoured Apple actual television, which they may announce at actual Apple TV. Yeah, mm -hmm. like a television screen. Oh, I know cool. they did that before. Yeah, they have, they have, they have like the, they, well, they have a little TV box thing, which yeah. uh, does like streaming Netflix, iTunes, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But this is an actual TV screen, oh. uh, and uh, I assume that would probably go better than the Windows one or Windows. As PC thing. that's kind of the pattern. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest. Um, Microsoft released something. Everyone's like, ooh. Apple released something. Everyone's like, ah. And then Bill Gates cries himself to sleep. <laughs> but yeah, they may well announce that at the Worldwide Developers Conference, which I believe is in June. Okay. And nice. along with that, they may also announce an updated MacBook Pro. So, what occurred to us this week? What occurred to us this week, indeed. That's a point. What occurred to me is it's been incredibly hot here. Yes. It's, it's, Unbearably. It's really... It's, it's, if you, if you're one of those people and you got up this morning and you went, oh, it's lovely outside. We should go have a barbecue. We should go to the beach. We should have a picnic in the woods, in the sun. So I don't understand. Why do you have a barbecue when it's hot? Yeah, you want that's hot food. food. You, you're heating yourself up. You want an ice cube. You you, a you, big tub full of ice and you, you, just, you, just, you just put cold food in there and it cools you down. What's wrong with you people? Seriously. You're... When the revolution comes, <laughs> along with mourning people, believers, and anyone who has ever ever said a whole nother, or YOLO, you will be the first to die. I will see to it personally. Now, before I lose my voice completely, <laughs> what occurred to me this week is that my comic book series, ESFD, is no longer being produced. Um, I didn't actually try many publishers at all, <laughs> or get round to properly colouring it, or lettering it. What do you do now if somebody accepts? They won't. Just saying they it's did. too big to fail. <laughs> it's not very big at all, it's failed. <laughs> um, so, that's gone. It's now in my portfolio, which I don't have. I don't have a portfolio. It, it's there. Generally, some sort of space here. And I'm starting a new series, which hasn't quite got a name yet, but two possible candidates are McCoy, Professional Adventurer, or Brian? Question mark? <laughs> like, yeah. Um, yeah, those are my. Okay. okay. And you'll learn more about that, whether you want to or not, next week. Mm. Hello, I'm Ashley from Nerdpool, and sorry for that abrupt interruption, but. Our camera's battery ran out and we don't have the charger, so uh, I'm giving you this message now just to say make sure you follow us on Twitter at Nerdpool, Produ at Nerdpool Prod, even. Uh, also, check out our Tumblr, which uh, I don't know, there'll be, there'll be links to the Twitter and the Tumblr in the description, so you can check that out. Um, but yes, uh, be sure to check our Tumblr this evening because We'll be posting the story of how me and Eric broke into my house. Uh, and I'm sure you will find that fascinating. Please comment, subscribe, like or dislike, uh, so we know that you care. Yes. But yeah, so that's everything from Nerdpool. We will see you on our next Monday vlog, or on a gaming video. So, goodbye. <laughs>